Come on, say amen. amen. Thank God for all of our deacons. Thank God for all of our teachers. Amen. So Taylor and uh, the young men on assignment. Amen. amen. Give God a hand of praise. Thank God. <clears throat> Listen, uh, let me kind of, kind of regroup. Amen. Uh, that young men on assignment. I mean, I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit was all in there. Yeah. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. What a blessing. I um, uh, want to thank God uh, for them, thank God for our teachers, and um, we're grateful. Amen? Amen. Come on, say thank God, thank God. for marriage devotion. For marriage devotion. Come on, say thank God, thank God. For, mutual love. for mutual love. Come on, say thank God, thank God. for the family. For the family. Amen. 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 Beautiful Sunday school lesson. Amen. Um, relationships are important. Amen. Amen. You know, uh, you have to honor and respect and receive how valuable it is to have a relationship. Amen. 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 Um, our lesson plan, amen. You know, the world, the world teaches independence. Amen. Amen. Um, I was looking at it, and uh, uh, the world teaches being a self-made man. Amen. The world teaches world. that you can do it by yourself. Amen. That's what the world. the world teaches. But God already had a plan for us. Amen. And the plan that he had for us in the beginning, he always had the plan in the beginning, amen, to affirm what was taking place, amen. A suitable companionship. God have always ordained all the way through Genesis chapter 1, all the way up to verse 17, he said everything was good. Amen. He said everything was good. But when he got to verse 18 and he saw man. Are y'all with me here? He said it's not good from verse 1 to verse 17 in creating. He said everything is good. But when he got to verse 18 and he saw man being by himself, he said, it's not good. Amen. Amen. Is that in the scripture? He said what? He said it's not good. He said it's not good for man to be by himself. He said, because I know if I leave him alone, if I leave him by himself too long. <laughs> if I leave him by himself too long. If you keep letting him go on, keep letting him travel, keep letting him go on by himself too long. There's going to be some changes. Amen. It's going to be what? Changes. It's some changes. Uh, so what he said, amen, in Genesis chapter 2, from Genesis chapter 2, amen, from verses 1 through, you know, 17 all the way up, amen, he, he, he said something. So he said, listen, uh, he said, I'll tell you what I'll do. He said, I'll make him a help me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Come on, say, I give him some help. Come on, say help, help. I give him what? I give him some help. You know, when God make you help, are y'all with me here? Then you sensitive to your mate. You don't desire that he work all them long hours. Let me see. 
and leave you by yourself. Go get you another job. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. And can't you work some overtime? The devil is a liar. You will help me. You want to help me. Sister Taylor, I ain't talking about you. I'm just talking about you. You want to help me. Get out, something. Get up and help me. Go to the, you know, amen. You said, what is that doing, Pastor? That's building relationships. Amen. See, when you help, when you help each other, the relationship grows. Amen. amen. When you don't help each other, you sabotage the relationship. Amen. amen. When you don't, when you ain't helping, when it's when it's one pulling and you you ain't doing nothing. Amen. You setting up a, a, a toxic environment. Amen. amen. Uh, this is what he did. He said, so when I, when I get rid of it, he said, so I'm, I'm going to make you, I'm going to make, create a help me for him. So out of the ground, he, 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 he formed every beast of the field, amen, uh, fowl of the air, brought Adam to see, and, and, then, and then he gave Adam, he, he put him to work. After he named, after God made everything, he he could have named everything, Amen. but he didn't name everything because he wanted to give Adam something to do. Amen. So he gave Adam something to name all the animals. Amen. Amen. Come on, say labor. Amen. Amen. See, God created man to work. Amen. Amen. It's not in the will of God for a Negro not to have a job. Amen. Huh? You to be a full-fledged man. Amen. Then not have a job. Amen. Do something. Amen. Cut your odds. Do something. So, this is what he said. Oh my God. He said this. So after he had everything, he named everything. Adam was kind of feeling some kind of way. Amen. Let me let me cut cross and let me let me finish up. Amen. Let me tell you, um, the next generation has become the X generation. How, Pastor? How? Because once he created, come on, set a family. Uh, you know, this is the only time where you will find that God uh, picked a woman for Adam. Amen. There's nowhere else in the Bible that God picked a woman for somebody else. This is the only time. And then when he picked her, the reason why he ended it is because Adam had the nerve yeah. to try to blame God. And he said, this woman you gave me. You know, sometimes we don't even have enough sense to know the blessing when we got it. So he wanted to blame God. So God said, okay, next time I won't pick anybody for you. He said, so the reason why we're in the mess now in 2018, because you picked your own stuff. So the Negro you got, you picked them. So you want to get an attitude with everybody when I'm up here talking about marriages and all this stuff. You picked them. And you thought you could change them. And you went out. And you picked them. And then you call yourself bringing them before God. But let me tell you, anything you pick, you accept it. Amen. 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 Ain't no need of you crying and acting like you're breaking down and talking about Because you picked it. Amen. Because God will show you something before you get it. 
Oh, he showed it to you. You just act like you didn't see it. He already showed you that they was lazy, showed you that she wasn't going to cook, showed you she was going to be after your money. He already showed you that. You just act like you didn't see it. Showed you that they was drinking, showed you they was getting high. Yeah, I know what time it is. I'm cutting off. But I needed to tell you. I'm like Brother Devin Ryan, what he said in, in, in our young men on assignment. Amen. You got to learn to pay attention to the warning signs. You got to learn to what? You got to learn to pay attention to the warning signs. Because God is sending the warnings. You just act like you sleep. Amen. amen. So what happened, Pastor, in conclusion, amen. After the family got together, amen. After they, amen, uh, connected and then they were fruitful and they, uh, they multiplied, amen. Come on, say, you can't be fruitful when you're single. See, you can only be fruitful when you marry. Because he bring them together. You say, well, what am, what am I to be, pastor, since I'm single? You're to be devoted. See, your mate is God. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. See, you can't be fruitful. Amen. You can't be fruitful with the same gender. Amen. Repeat of last Sunday. You can't be fruit, fruitful with the same gender. You can't be fruitful with the same sex. You can't be fruitful. You say, well, what, what would I be? You got a mess. That's what you got. But she good to me. You got a mess. She bought me some shoes. You got a mess. That's what you got. Amen. 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 This is what he did. Cain and Abel. And when they created. Amen. And they went out. Out of the relationship. Amen. When they went out. They had children. Amen. The first time you find tension in the house. Amen. In the Bible. Would be from Cain and Abel. Come on. Say the first family. Amen. Even the first. Listen. Your family is not exempt. Amen. Everybody is going to have some issues in the family. Come on. Say all in the family. It's what? It's everywhere. Amen. At the summit of creation when God, amen, gave out those design assignments and when he uh, put it in place and said bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, amen. One of the reasons why, amen, you don't need to be trying, amen, to get above your husband because you came from us. You came from your husband. Amen. So God had already had it set for you not to lead your husband. Even if you're smarter than your husband, you know not to lead your husband. Amen. You stay in your lane, stay in your place, stay in your zone. So God can keep order in the family. So when your children, when your sons start to growing up, they can develop and they can see a picture and a prototype or they can see a template of what it is to be the leader of the house. Because they are developed to be the man in the house. They are developed to get up and take care of women and take care of children. Amen. And then they won't be leaving, they won't be sleeping in bed and, and, and let her get up and let her go and put gas in a car and let her go and clean up a car and she, hey! Amen. First lady don't even know what side the gas tank is on. She don't even know. True story. Don't even know. But when I met her, she knew where all the stuff was. But over time, amen, because I saw some good men around the church. 
Amen. I saw some templates. I saw my dad and saw some good deacons and saw some good urchins. Amen. I was taking care of their family. Amen. Opening up the doors for their wives. Amen. Taking care of their daughters. Amen. Being the best that they could be to their to they, to, to they family. Amen. And I saw that and I said, I want to be like that. And so as I began to develop my life and pattern my life, I said, I want to be like that. Amen. I, I want to be where I can be a help to my wife and a help to my family. I want to be like that. Amen. You got to develop a taste to want to be the best you can be. Come on, say the family. Come on, say relationships. Come on, say we got to have it. Come on, say let's go to worship. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Get that neighbor great to do it. Tell him I ain't on it now. Amen. <laughs> it's all well. It's all in the family. <laughs>